everyone! Kumusta po kayo? It's our joy to welcome you to our online Sunday worship celebration. Word of God says in Psalm 156, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So who is excited to praise and worship the Lord today? You know what? Our times may change, our seasons may change, but God remains to be unshakable, unstoppable, and unchangeable. That's why we enter into His presence with so much hope, with so much faith, and with so much joy because we know that God is our firm foundation. Amen. So let us begin with a word of prayer. Come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your goodness, O God. Lord, we come to you today. Lord, we worship you. We honor you, O God. Lord, there is no one like you, Lord God. You are our firm foundation. Lord, you are worthy of the praises of your people, O God. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, who was and is and is to come. Lord, we just lift our hands to you, O God. Lord, as an act of faith, O God, an act of surrender, O God. Lord, truly, God, you are good. Lord, truly, God, you are powerful. Lord, there is no one like you, O God. Lord, salamat, Lord, that as we worship you today, O God, Lord, your presence will manifest, Lord God, in our midst today, O God. Thank you, O God, Lord, for the encounter with you today, O God. Thank you, O God, Lord, for the breakthrough through in your presence, O God. Salamat, Lord. Be glorified in our praise and worship, O God. In Jesus' name we pray and everyone say, Amen and Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your presence, God. Thank you for the freedom, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how we love you to be in your presence, oh Lord. Oh. We acknowledge your presence here this morning, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your word says. In Luke 11, as and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. By mentioning the name of Jesus, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're here with the grace of the Savior, with the heart of the Father. You're all we need, and you're here with the hands of the stealer, with the power of your spirit. You're all we need, Jesus. At the mention of your name. Every chain will break, I know everything will change, Jesus, just a whisper of your name, the silence, wind and waves, at the mention of your name. Says you supply. 
being of solid gold Like a vow that is tested And like a covenant of old Your love is enduring Through the winter rain And beyond the horizon Be mercy for today Faithful you have been And faithful you will be You pledge yourself to me And it's what sing your praise Will ever be on my lips Ever be on my lips Your praise will ever be on my lips Never be on my lips Your praise will Never be on my lips Never be on my lips Your praise will Never be on my lips Never be on my lips You father your friend Your kindness in your soul And you show the way
praise you this morning, God. Come on, why don't we all lift up our hands? Let's exalt the King of Kings. Yeah. We praise you, Lord. We exalt you. The word of God says, lift up your hands, all oh, your gates. You lifted up you ancient doors. For the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lord, we glorify you this morning. Lord God, in this place you are glorified. 
This is your kingdom, Lord God. You rule here, and we, your people, Lord God, love you. We trust you, Lord. We open our hearts to you today. Be glorified among us as you touch us and change us. We need you, Lord, and we want you, Lord. So would you come and continue a great work in our lives. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people will shout. Amen. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. You may be seated. God is good. Welcome to our Change Sunday number three, Change Heart Sunday. And at the backdrop, we say, change your heart, change your life. Could you please tell someone beside you, change your heart, change your life. And today, God is here. And because God is God, He can do what we cannot do. He can heal your heart. He can change your heart. In a moment, in an instant, and today, don't allow yourself to get out of this place that you have not been touched or changed by the love and the power of God. God is ready and willing to bless you today. Tell someone beside you, God wants to bless you today. Amen. We believe that and it will happen. Announcements po natin. We are still in our each one, change one campaign. Can we all shout, each one, change one. Amen. So let's do that. Let's invite, let's bring people, let's pray, and let's support this endeavor for the glory of God. From October 30 to November 14, we are going to have our Encounter God. I would like to invite everyone na hindi pa po naka-encounter. This is your opportunity. Alam niyo po, lahat po tayo merong dinaanan ng mga pangit. Marami sa atin, kahit ngayon, maraming gusot sa buhay. Whatever those things may be or may have been, the Lord is able to touch your life and heal you. Please come, please come, and please join, and your life will surely be changed. Let's watch this video. spread of the coronavirus is now classified as very high. All eyes on the Ta'al volcano. Massive fires already among the worst in that country's history. Has crashed in Iran. Kobe Bryant has been killed. Magnitude 6.4 quake in Mindanao. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Kailangan po natin si Lord. Alam niyo po, usapang totoo lang. Yung hindi kaya na paulit-ulit ng mga mahal na bakasyon. <laughs> yung hindi kaya ng mga mamahali ng mga gadgets. At kung ano-ano pa kaya hong baguhin, ayusin ni Lord John. Come to the Encounter God Weekend. And meron hong dalawang bagay na kailangan that's required before you can join the Encounter God Weekend. And one of that is the pre-encounter. The dates for our pre-encounter are October 17 and October 24. Also, ang required po to help you prepare to get you ready are the change lessons. 30 minutes lang po ito per session, per lesson, and there's only five of them. So please ask one of the pastors, one of the leaders here, some people you know to help you with that. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of the service. So let me shift gear, no? This morning, let us show um, another love. So this one is love for the Lord. So let me share with you this verse in Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will de be devoted to the one and despise the other. 
You cannot serve both God and money. So why do we tithe? Because it helps us to remember who the real provider is. Amen? It is a test of our hearts if, if we either love the provider more than the one that we receive. Either we love the giver more than the gifts that we receive. So this is a test of hearts for all of us. Amen? If we obey God in this, know that uh, and we make our hearts right in front of Him, the Lord will open floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing. So let us be excited. No, this morning is an opportunity to obey the Lord, opportunity to honor God, opportunity to bless the Lord and to exercise our faith. Amen? We encourage the faithful giving of tithes and offerings. Giving channels are as follows. You may do a bank deposit in the following branches with the account name The Lighthouse Christian Fellowship. Union Bank Rizal Branch Account number 1001-7003-9801 China Bank Recto Branch Account number 172252801 Metro Bank Rizal Branch Account number 0583058628159 PNB Victoria Plaza Branch Account number 4017100187 Kindly provide a copy of your deposit slip to the Lighthouse Office for verification you may also give through GCash transfer using these numbers 0998-158-2269 or 0918-2131530 May God bless you richly as you faithfully give your tithes and offerings. walang mga magulang na kayang kalimutan ng kanyang mga anak. Napakalaking kasinungalingan. Si mama nag-abroad, hindi na bumalik. Si papa may ibang babae at talulong sa droga. At ako na yung tumayong ama at sa mga kapatid ko. Masayang pamilya? Walang kwelta! Walang kapatawaran lahat na ginawa nila. How dare you do that to me? How could you betray me just like that? We were happily married. We had many dreams and plans together. We used to be so in love, but I lost her. I saw her with another man. Where's this? She was pregnant with that man. I gave up everything for her. Am I not enough? I hate her. She doesn't deserve me. You never forgive her. Inahasa ako. Oh, na rape na pagtiripan. Pilit ako na mama pero wala ako na dawa. Mabait siya. Mapagkakatiwalaan. Mama, mga pero paano niya lang yawa sa akin dyan? Pilit ko nga nalun sa isipan ko pero hindi ko makalimutan. Sinira niya ako pagkatao ko. Hindi, hindi ko siya mapapatawag. Hindi, hindi! Pilit ko hinanap ang pagmamahal na kailanman hindi ko natanggap sa mga magulang ko. Gusto ko lang naman kasing maramdaman kung paano mahalin at alagaan. At natagpuan ko yon sa isang babae. Oo! Oh, nagmahal ako ng tomboy! Alam ko ang mali! Alam ko ang malaki kasinanan sa Diyos dahil parehas kami babae! Pilit kami pinag-iwalay Pero hindi ko kaya Hindi ko kaya After she left I wanted to prove that she chose the wrong man I want to make sure that she will suffer So I got hired in a job and worked very hard I gave my best Because I was aiming for that promotion But I was betrayed by my best friend He paid for that promotion I thought I could trust him but he deceived me. I cannot trust anyone anymore. They're just all the same and they want to hurt me. I 
wala namang matinong lalaking magmamahal sa akin. Pinaglaruan ko itong katawan na to. Pumatol ako sa may asawa. Oh! Sabihin mo na ako gusto mong sabihin. Kami at Kirita, wala akong makialam. Sa akin niya kasi mahal niya ako. Naiiwan niya ang asawa niya para sa akin. Nakagsasawa kami ang mga buhay. Aliwala ako. Alam ko, alam ko mali. Pero hindi ko kaya wala sa sa buhay ko. Kaya sabihin mo, sabihin mo please. Wala namang masawa sa nagmamahalan, di ba? Pagod na akong laging nagagalit Pagod na akong magtigas-tigasin Dahil ang totoo, mahila naman talaga ako eh Lord! Ayusin niyo po pamilya ko. Pinapatawad ko na sila mama at papa. Patawarin mo din po ako. Gusto ko na makalaya sa bigat na mga dinadala ko. I'm so fed up. I'm so tired with this life. Nobody really loves me. God! Can you hear me? I know that I've been so hard on you and on other people. I'm in this prison of my own hate and pride. It's a hard God. But I forgive her for hurting me. I forgive my best friend for betraying me. And I know I've hurt you, God. Forgive me, God. Please help me. I want to be set free. Bagod na, bagod na ako. Bagod na akong palaging nagpapanggap. Ba't ba palagi na lang akong nasasagtan? Ba't ba palagi na lang ako kayo naiiwan? Sawa na ako sa buhay na ganito. Diyos ka! Alam na naririnig niyo ba ako? Matawarin niyo po ako. Ito ay naghirap pero pinapatawad ko na po ang lahat ng tao na sinagdan ako. Lord, gusto ko ng magbago. Gusto ko ng makalaya. Sa gabon sa hindi pa mapatawad. Diyos ko, matutulungan niyo ba ba ako? sets free is free indeed. There is freedom waiting for you if you choose to forgive. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom.
You don't have to live in pain. God wants to set you free from the prison of unforgiveness, anger, and blame game. Experience the healing power of forgiveness as you open your heart for the sharing of God's word through Lighthouse Executive Pastor, Pastora Leia Hope sa Avedra Badoy. Come on, let's give praise to God. Come on, let's give praise to God. You may all be seated. Praise God. Are you blessed with the presentation? Tatlong kwento. Tatlong kwento ng kasawian. Tatlong kwento ng galit. Tatlong kwento ng drama sa buhay. Ikaw, anong kwento mo? Minsan ang nasaktan ka, di ba? Minsan nang nalungkot ka, minsan nang inapi ka, aminin man natin o hindi, lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang drama sa buhay. Anong drama mo? Today, God wants to heal our hearts. Siguro hindi ganun kalalim yung drama mo. Siguro hindi ganun kabigat yung drama mo, katulad nung nakita mo dito. Pero sigurado ako, may drama ka sa buhay. May drama ka sa buhay. Ang iba sa atin, pumasok dito, sugatan ng puso mo. Yung iba, pumasok dito, Lamog na lamog na yung emosyon mo. Yung iba, pumasok dito, ang tigas-tigas na ng puso mo. Kapatid, kayang baguhin ni Lord ang puso mo. Hindi lang niya babaguhin ang puso mo, bibigyan ka niya ng bagong puso. Kung tatanggapin mo, kung hahayaan mo ang Panginoon, ngayon, dito, hindi kailangan mangyari bukas, pero ngayon, God can give you a new heart. And you can walk away from this place with a brand new heart. Magbabago ang takbo ng buhay mo. Pag nagbago ang puso mo, Magpapago na rin ang takbo ng buhay mo. A change heart means a change life. Amen? The title of our word tonight is Sorry po. Sorry po. The power of forgiveness. Some points that I will be sharing are not original to me. About 25% of my preaching this morning, I got it from a book by one of our mentors, Pastor Hiram Pangilinan. Let me ask you, how deep is the wound in your heart? Has it healed already? Are you passed over it? Have you dealt with it? Are you delivered from the pain and the offenses that you've had in the past? Have you experienced being hurt, being betrayed, being rejected, being humiliated, insulted, abused, accused? And most of us in this room will most likely say, yes. I believe all of us here will say, yes. Because it is almost impossible to live in this world without getting hurt. Understand this. We live in a fallen world. We, we move around fallen people. And so there will always be offense. There will always be wounding that will happen in our lives. You know, Jesus said in Luke 17, 1, It is impossible 
that no offense should come. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, talagang may offense na darating. Imposibleng hindi ka masasaktan. The sooner we come to grip with this truth, the better it is for us. Two things are guaranteed in this life. Two things. Number one, you will hurt someone. You will hurt someone. Hindi mo man gugustuhin, ayaw mo mang mangyari, pero may masasaktan dahil sa'yo. Number two, someone will hurt you. Ikaw. No matter how much you protect yourself, no matter how much you guard yourself, you will be hurt. Someone will offend you. Someone will hurt you. And so this is a story of people that has been wounded and people that has wounded others. Now both scenarios have produced wounded hearts, broken relationships, health problems, years of agony and so much unhappiness. But listen to this. I have good news for you. There is a cure. There is a cure. When someone hurts you, there is a cure. When you hurt someone, there is a cure. And it is called forgiveness. Say with me, forgiveness. Ephesians 4, 31, 32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. It says here, forgive each other. The Lord does not give suggestions. It is not an option for us. The word of God is very clear, forgive each other. You know, if people know how to forgive one another, there will be no stories of pain. No stories of misery. What is forgiveness? Forgiveness is a spiritual decision to release the person, entity, institution, or group who offended you from all past hurts, failures, and all sense of guilt or loss. It says here, to release. Say with me, release. Say with me, all. That is the essence of forgiveness. To let go. To release from all. Not some, but all. It is very important to realize that once the wounding has taken place, it's already there and we cannot change what happened. May mga bagay sa buhay mo, hindi mo na mababago yun. Yung nangyari sa'yo 10 years ago, yung nangyari sa'yo last year, yung nangyari kahapon, yung nangyari 15 years ago, hindi mo na yun mababago. We cannot change what happened, but we can change the way we deal with our situations, with our past. We can change our response to it. Today, the Word of God will help us deal with our pain, our wounds, and our offenses. I would like to divide the Word this morning into two parts. Let's go to the first part. Part one. When you are, when you hurt someone. Sorry po. Siguro, tingin mo sa sarili mo, mabait ka. Eh siguro talaga namang mabait ka. But no matter how kind you are, how cautious you are, may nasaktan na dahil sa'yo. Alam mo ba, may taong nasaktan dahil sa'yo? May taong umiyak dahil sa'yo? May taong nalungkot dahil sa'yo? May taong naagrabyado dahil sa'yo? Chances are, you made a mistake at some point and hurt someone. Ang tanong ngayon, paano kung ikaw ang nakasakit? Paano kung ikaw ang may 
ginawang mali sa ibang tao. Isipin mo ngayon. Come on. Think about it. Think about it. Sino yung mga nasa top list ng mga taong nasaktan mo na at nasasaktan mo pa rin hanggang ngayon? Isipin mo, sino yung lagi mong nasasaktan noon hanggang ngayon? You know, you will wonder why even after saying sorry, hearts are not healed. Relationships are not broken. Relationships are not restored. I would like to share with you this morning the five language of an apology. Five fundamental aspects of an apology that will help us restore relationship and bring healing to the hearts of people around us. Number one, expressing regret. I am sorry. Alam nyo, three words, I am sorry. But these are three powerful words that can change your life. Three powerful words that can change the life of the person that you hurt. Kung mahal mo ang nasaktan mo, dapat matuto kang humingi ng sorry. Kaso nga, maraming tao, kasama na ang mga nasa simbahan, hirap na hirap mag-sorry. Bakit ba ang hirap mag-sorry? Alam mo, pag hirap na hirap ka mag-sorry, pride. Self yan. You cannot see the hurts of other people. You cannot feel the feelings of other people because you are so absorbed with yourself. You are so absorbed with yourself that you cannot feel the pain of people around you. And sometimes you're not able to say sorry because you think you're right. You are so proud. Sorry, saying sorry is one of the basic statements we need to learn in life. Dapat matuto tayo. I am sorry. How do we say, I am sorry? When saying sorry po, you must demonstrate sorrow or regret in your actions and words. Kaya naman pala hindi tumatalab yung sorry mo. Sorry, pero galit. Sorry, pero tumatawa. Kaya naman, imbis na mahimasmasan yung tao, nalong nagalit. There must be a sincere demonstration of regret in your action. Letter B, when saying sorry po, you have to clarify why you are saying sorry. Sorry for what? Minsan kasi ang tao ganito, ah basta, sorry na. Sorry na gudoy para mahuman na ni. Mali. When you say sorry, I am sorry because I shouted at you. That was very rude of me. Please forgive me. Yun. Letter C. When saying sorry, don't justify or give excuses because it minimizes the effect of your sorry. Nagsorry ka nga pero, honey, sorry ha. Nagalit ako kanina. Ikaw kasi eh. Ikaw ang nagsimula. Kung hindi ka na gano, hindi sana ako nagalit. Na-provoke ako dahil sa'yo. Baguhin mong ugali mo. Imbis maulian, sabot naglagot. Don't make excuses. Just admit your fault and express regret. It's something like this. Sorry, I was angry this morning. I should not have reacted the way that way, I know I have hurt your feelings. I should have been more understanding. Next, number.
Number three, making restitutions. What can I do to make it right? What can I do to make it right? You know, there are times that the people we hurt, they expect something more from us. Sometimes sorry is not enough. Eh, nasaktan yun eh. Durog-durog yung puso nun. Minsan, yung magsabi ka ng sorry, hindi yan enough. Restitution is a powerful language of apology. It is an act of returning something that was lost or stolen to its owner. It's a payment that is made for someone for damage, trouble. So when you are, you are truly sorry, you will have a desire to make things right. Gagawa ka ng mabuti para mabayaran ang atraso mo. What are the acts of restoration, uh, restitution, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, physical touch? Number four, genuinely repenting. I'll try not to do it again. If you are really sorry, you will not do it again. If you lied, you stop lying. If you lash out cruelly, you stop lashing. If you gave threats, stop giving threats. If you humiliated, stop humiliating. If you are in an ungodly relationship, cut it off. Stop texting. Stop chatting. We should produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Number five, requesting forgiveness. Will you please forgive me? Minsan tayo, tayo na lang humihingi ng tawad, ang tapang natin. Nag-sorry na nga eh. Ano bang gusto mo? Patawarin mo na ako. Uy. Uy. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, parang ako yan. We cannot demand Forgiveness. We can only request it from the one that we offended. We can only request it and hope that it is granted. Amen. Are we learning something? You know, I was so blessed with my son. Kagabi lang talaga ito nangyari. Ano mga bata ngayon kung magsalita? Ibang klase rin sila magsalita. Ba? Misan kung hindi kasanay, pinabuli-buli gani. Ano na ako? Eh, uman, nandarap na naman si Poli ko. Mami, mami, ano, ikaw mami, bla 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 bla. Gusto ko sana ng patulan. Kaso mag-preach ako ngayon eh. Sa so, kung patulan ko to mag-repent na naman ako mamaya, mag-cleansing na naman ako. So, kilom lang ko, pero kitang-kita sa mukha ko nasaktan ako. So, dahil tao mahimik ako, hindi ko pinatulan, nigo nagulat din yung bata, may umalis siya. Mamaya, after 10 minutes, habang nasa computer ako, bumalik. May pumasok sa kwarto ko, nag-open ang door. Pumasok sa kwarto ko. Diyan na siya sa aking tabi. May, eh, mami. Kami, mami. Mami, sorry kanina, ha? Sorry yung sinabi ko kanina, mami. Nag-joke naman ako nun, mami. Sorry, mami, ha? May yakap niya ako. Embrace tayo, mami, B. Kaya sweet man yan siya. So, nag-embrace kami. Na-appreciate ko yung bata. Marunong siya mag-sorry. Tapos, konti lang yung sinabi niya, pero ang ganda ng epekto sa akin, na-release ako. <laughs> na-release ako. Now, why am I saying this? Kailangan siguro, may mga tao tayo siguro kailangan puntahan. May mga tao tayong kailangan lapitan at humingi ng kapatawaran. Totoo yan. Siguro may mga anak dito, baka kailangan mong lumapit sa mga magulang mo. Baka kailangan mong humingi ng tawad. Alam mo ba yung pag mo sa kanila? Malaking magagawa nun para sa kanila. May mga mag-asawa dito, Siguro may mga issues kayo na nilibing nyo na lang, hindi nyo na lang pinag-usapan. You just choose to ignore it and be silent about it and hope that it will go away. But a sincere apology will really do wonders in your relationship. And so I'd like to encourage us today 
Learn the art of saying sorry. It will change your life, not just your life, but the life of people around you. Wag nyo nang patagalin. Don't delay it. Say sorry to the people that you love. Assignment po natin yan. Amen? Pwede po ba? Gawin nating assignment natin. Kung may nabuli ka, humingi ka ng tawad. Kung may nautangan ka, humingi ka ng tawad. Kung may inindyan ka, humingi ka ng tawad. Kung may napagsalitaan ka ng hindi mabuti, humingi ka ng tawad. Kung meron kang na, 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 nakapagsalita ka ng patalikod, ng masakit, humingi ka ng tawad. Kapatid, it is the beginning of a change heart. Amen? And when you learn to say, I'm sorry, your life will be changed. Amen po ba? Amen. Let's give God a clap of praise. Let's move to the other side of the coin. Part two. When someone hurts you, you say, I forgive you. Ito. Kung mahirap magsabi ng I am sorry, kung mahirap magsabi ng sorry po, mahirap din po magsabi ng I forgive you. Kasi the natural tendency of man is to fight back. Mainis ka, magalit ka. And it takes a lot of strength, it takes a lot of grace to be able to say I forgive you. Many of us here at one point in our life, we have been violated, abused, we have been hurt. And usually, the wounding came from the people closest to us. Actually, yung number one na taong nakasakit sa'yo, yun yung taong pinakamamahal mo. Sometimes, the ones that we love the most are the people who hurt us. Dahil siguro lagi kayong magkasama. So para kayong sandpaper, bait-bait here and there. And so, tayo, laging nasasaktan, hingi ka na naman ng tawad, mamaya nasaktan ka na naman, andyan na naman, next week, nasaktan ka na naman, ano ba ito? Bago ka lang nag bago ka lang na-restore, bago ka lang naulian, agay, naanapod. Sometimes we are able to respond. Sometimes tagal natin makarespond. Sa mga mag-asawa, meron yan. Kami ni Pastor Latour, nagkakatampuhan kami. Ba bago lang, last week, di ba, nagtampuhan tayo. Natuto na ako kay Pastor Latour. Kasi si Pastor Latour, a man of few words. So, mamulapit yan siya. Han, yung kanina, Han. Sorry, Han, ha? Oh, sige, ha? Basta nagsorry na ako. Okay, so deal with it. Alis na siya. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung mahapi ako na nag-sorry siya o nasa, nasuko ko sa mot. So sometimes, hirap ako, I forgive you. Hirap mag-forgive. Kasi may, may hinahanap ka eh. Sa mga mag-asawa, meron yan eh. Sa mga magulang at anak, Meron yan. Sa mga magkaibigan. Sa mga life group, meron yan. Nag-text ako, hindi siya sumagot. Grabe. Naglabas pala sila, hindi ako sinama. Ay, grabe. Yung birthday nung isang sister, cake ang binigay sa akin. Puto. So lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang drama sa buhay. And in life, tanggapin mo na lang. The wounding continues. Walang katapusan yan because we live in a fallen world. Hindi ko masasabi sa inyo na wala nang mangyayaring painful. Wala nang mangyayaring... No! The wounding continues. Yung mga wounds natin, merong old wounds, merong fresh wounds. Wounds pa more. Now, in all this wounding, you can respond in two ways. You have a choice. You can be a victim. You can be a victor. The choice is yours. Kung hayaan mong magpapatalo ka sa sakit na naramdam 
kailangan mo? At pahayaan mo yung galit na, you know, to take root sa puso mo? Kung ahayaan mo yun, talo ka. Kung hindi ka makapagpatawad, talo ka. Kung hayaan mo mapuno ang puso mo ng galit, talo ka. If you refuse to forgive and let go, talo ka. Yung victor naman po, if you choose to forgive and let go, yan, panalo ka. Panalo ka. So, anong gusto mo? Talo o panalo? Kung gusto mo manalo, forgive na. Amen. Yugyugin mo yung kapabi mo. Forgive na ba? Now, many Christians live in defeat because they have not been able to forgive. Listen to this. An unforgiving heart is never a happy heart. It's never a happy heart. I would like to spell out to you how unforgiveness destroys your life. Firstly, it is a prison that torments you. You know, sometimes the pain come back, comes back again, again. Paano ka ininsulto? Paano ka pinahiya? Ang sakit-sakit. And sometimes when you, when you repeat it again and again, it develops a fortified place in your mind and in your heart. And many believers live in a prison of unforgiveness. Pangalawa, it is a disease that affects your soul. When you're not able to forgive, it will affect your soul, your health. Alam mo, pag may unforgiveness ka, para kang may sakit. Do you know that right now, the uh, unforgiveness is already classified in the medical books as a disease? Alam nyo ba, the spirit of unforgiveness is like a supernatural cancer that slowly and deliberately eats you up. Do you know that many illnesses and infirmities are directly related to unforgiveness? Next, how forgiveness destroys your life. It is a bondage that paralyzes you. Para kang tinali. Para kang nakapreso. And it is a bondage that gives birth to other sins. You are stuck in the past. You cannot move on. And because of that, you lose, you miss out on God's wonderful plan. Hindi ka malaya. Hindi ka masaya. Hindi ka makalipad. You're stuck in bitterness and anger. And it's making your life miserable. Next, it is an obstruction that will snuff out your spiritual growth. You cannot grow spiritually when you have unforgiveness. You cannot have a breakthrough spiritually. It will block the blessing of God. It will hinder God from answering your prayers. And you cannot hear the voice of the Spirit. The demonic world is a world of unforgiveness. The kingdom of God is a world of forgiveness. Lastly, it is a poison that destroys your relationship. It crushes love and it kills it. Many people fall out of love. Many couples fall out of love. It begins with unforgiveness. It destroys relationship, marriages. It divides families. And because you're not able to forgive, there is a continuing pattern of misunderstanding and conflict. You are growing apart from the person who hurt you. The resentment is building up. So you see all these things, unforgiveness will give you a miserable life. And if you want to be set free, you can have a change of heart. A change of heart means a change of life. If you're here this morning and you know there's unforgiveness in your life, you know that you still hold people accountable, you still hold people on their offenses, kapatid, release. Say with me, release. Let go. 
Let go. There is only one solution, and that is to forgive and be forgiven. Forgiveness is not based on feelings. It's not based on feelings. Because if you base it on feelings, you may, feelings may never come. Forgiveness is not dependent on an apology. In your heart, whether the person has apologized or not, in your heart, you have already decided to forgive. Forgiveness is a gift we give ourselves. You are the one who will benefit the most if you forgive. Forgiveness does not change your past, but it changes your future. Forgiveness is a command we need to obey. Understand this. If you refuse to forgive, you are disobeying God. It says forgive as the Lord forgave you. We forgive so that we will be forgiven. Mark 11, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Misan tayo ang kapal-kapal na mukha natin. Ay, ang lakas ng loob natin humingi ng tawad kay Lord. Pero tayo hindi marunong magbigay ng kapatawaran. Forgive so that your sins will be forgiven. Let me emphasize a few points to you. Carrying unforgiveness in your heart is not worth it. Come on, don't hold on to it. It's not worth it. You lose so much. You lose so much strength, so much peace, so much joy. Because you hold on to that pain. And I'm telling you today, my friends, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. There is nothing good or justifiable in carrying unforgiveness. No matter how much we make excuses, how much we justify, you don't understand. This is what is done to me. It's so painful. It's so painful. Stop justifying. Come on. Do yourself a favor. No more excuses. Stop justifying. Just forgive. The Lord is just. The Lord is fair. If you do what's right, the Lord will fight for you. The Lord will bless you. Don't justify your pains. Don't justify your responses, your reactions. Being offended is inevitable. Staying offended is our choice to sin. Don't stay offended. Because God gives you a choice today. You don't need to remain in that mire. You don't need to remain being offended. If you choose not to forgive, it is a choice of sin. If you have unforgiveness in your heart and life right now, make it your top priority to deal with it. Get rid of it. Come on. Get rid of it. Yung kalain ni mo sa mama, papa, yung kalain ni mo sa business associate, ang kalain ni mo sa imong bana, ang kalain ni mo sa imong asawa, ang kalain ni mo sa imong teacher, ang kalain ni mo sa imong best friend. Come on, get rid, get rid of it. Today there will be an anointing. The Lord is giving an anointing for forgiveness. You will be able to do. The Lord will release grace today. You will be able to forgive. Take it to Jesus. Give it to Him. He's the only one who can take it away from us. Forgiveness is divine and it gives you a chance to be a better person. And we should be greatest, the greatest forgivers since we have been forgiven of so much. Today, two things we need to do. You have an assignment. Ask forgiveness. Sincere, genuine apology from the people you have hurt. You don't realize how powerful that action will be. It will set people free. It will change not only your life, but their lives as well. You know the Lord. You love the Lord. God has filled you with His love. 
you are able to forgive. After this service, you have an assignment this week. Children, you have disrespected and dishonored your parents. I want you to take time. Seek them out. Ask their forgiveness. For parents who have provoked their children, exasperated their children, been too hard on their children, we have to learn to say sorry to our children. For the people that you have hurt, for husbands and wives, for the constant bickering, the nagging, exchange of heated words, come on! It will never stop until you say, I'm sorry. You are here. God gives you His love. You will be able to do that. The other thing you need to do, hurt the people. Forgive the people who hurt you. I'd like you to think of the three greatest pain in your life. What are the three experiences that you can say, Wow, sakit atoy, sakit! Sipin mo ngayon, ano yung tatlong pangyayari sa buhay mo nasaktang ka? I have been hurt deeply too. Insulted, humiliated. And mind you, the hurts, they're enough to drive you to depression. They're enough to give you an emotional breakdown, a mental breakdown. But you have a choice. I will arise from this. I will arise from this. And I refuse to be a victim. I will win because of the love of God. This church runs by the vision of loving God and loving people. Hindi some people are difficult to love but the word of God the world teaches us to hate but God tells us to love hindi madali pero pwede mangyari I have learned in life that misa mong sa kadako ang sala at the end of the day the rule of the law commands us to forgive the love of God will enable us to do the impossible. The love of God will increase our capacity to forgive. Today, before I turn over the floor to Pastor Latour, I'd like to show you a video. Video testimonies of two people, two people who have, not, who have been able to forgive. My name is Mark, and this is my story. I really thought that my parents didn't really love me, especially my father. And one of the things that I cannot forget was one time, my father beat me up with a belt, with a buckle on it, and he was beating me with it, not with a belt, but with the buckle. So it really gave me bruises, gave me wounds, my whole body. And not just physical pain, because in my family, my mother would always tell me hurtful things that I'm good for nothing, that I am, um, that I cannot be successful, that my little brother, my younger brother is better than me because he's really good at school. Deep inside, I was hurt. I was angry. I was bitter. So the result was I, I was into brawls. I punched people. I hurt people. I could even remember that I, there were times that I stabbed my classmates with both hands. Things, those kinds of things. I knew the Lord through a person. I heard him tell his story. I heard him tell more about Jesus. And then at that time, we began to talk one on one. At that moment, when he started to talk about forgiveness, I started to realize and tell myself, well, there are a lot of people that hurt me, especially my parents. And then when encounter God week and game, one of the things that really struck me was, again, the topic about forgiveness. And during that time, one of the one of the things that really happened during my encounter time was, I was closing my eyes, 
But when I closed my eyes, I just really heard the Lord. And the message of the Lord was really clear. That was the first time in my life that I really heard a clear word from the Lord. And He said, you have to release forgiveness. You have to forgive them so that I can work in your life. And from that moment on, I just said, I just told the Lord, I just asked for forgiveness. I, I, I really repented for it. And I just asked for forgiveness from the Lord. And when I went home, I saw my father in, in our front door. And when I saw him, the first thing that came to my mind was, God, I love this man. close to him, I embraced him, and I told him, Pa, I love you so much. For the first time in my life, that was the first time I said I love you to my father. And I also saw my mom, I embraced her, she embraced me, I kissed her, and I also felt, told her, Mom, I love you, I love you very much. I really believe that God changed me, God changed my heart, so that I can also minister to other people, so that I can also um, tell them we can change. Our hearts can change if we truly surrender to the Lord. So I thank God for everything and I praise God for everything that He has done. Hi, my name is Lian and this is my story. I was nine years old when my parents separated and decided to have their own family. So I have to adjust with both parties. Eventually, my dad abandoned us and my mom went abroad. So me and my siblings grew up begging them to support us just for us to survive. We have to strive hard just to get into school. And that made my heart grow cold towards my, my parents. I became bitter. Then my depression syndrome began. Then I started to commit suicide when I was in grade school and it continues. The sad part there is nobody knows it. Eventually, I look and long for love, belongingness, and appreciation from my friends and from the world. And yes, I did receive it, but I was never happy. Eventually, I was rejected and left behind. That made me miserable. And the worst part there is that I did not know that I was already too broken and too wounded because of unforgiveness. Then one day, someone invited me in God Encounter Weekend. And during the encounter, I received a super mega dose healing. I received forgiveness from the one whom I hurt most, Jesus Christ. And He taught me how to release forgiveness towards my parents, towards my family and relatives, towards those people who hurt me, and even towards my ex who dumped me, who took me for granted. And most especially, I release forgiveness towards myself. God has restored my relationship with my family. In fact, my mom came home after 15 long years, when your heart is healed, all pains are gone. Then freedom, joy, peace, and true love takes place. God has also blessed me. People, I'm now handling life groups. God has also given me the joy to serve and the fulfillment to be busy in His kingdom. And I learned the art of waiting and the beauty of trusting God. My life today is still in process, but I'm pretty sure that my God is faithful enough to finish what we have started. Ang sarap maunap kay God. I am who I am because I embrace the power of forgiveness. My life has dramatically changed because I choose to have a changed heart. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Today, God will heal you. Today, God will change your heart and your life. Can I ask you, hindi po aksidente na nandito ko yung ngayon. Hindi po aksidente. In the next five minutes, seven minutes, we'll be gone. We'll leave this place. We'll just pray. But before we do, I just want to encourage you. Ngayon po, God is here. And the miracle that changed those people, si Mark, si Lian, that same miracle is available. It's here right now. And if you want to receive it, God will give it to you. God will give it to you. Today, you can be healed. Today, you can be set free. God will do it for you because He loves you as much as He loved them. Would you all please stand as we come before the Lord in prayer today. Would you close your eyes as we come before the Lord right now. Narinig mo na ang salita ni Lord. Kumakatak na si Lord sa puso mo. Would you please, for your own good and for the glory of God, would you please respond right now? Why don't you open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord, 
Lord, pagod na ako. Lord, ayaw ko na lang gantong klaseng buhay. Lord, mali ito, Lord God, that I am not releasing forgive. Ako man din makasalanan. Ako man din may nasaktan na ibang mga tao. Lord, forgive me, Lord, sa lahat ng bitterness, sa lahat ng mga, Lord, anger ko. Pagkaginoo, pasailo ako sa ako patumot, Lord God, sa ako mga, Lord God, mga kalakot, ginoo. Father, forgive me. Lord, Lord, right now, I forgive my mother, my father. Come on, begin to forgive. Begin to forgive those who have hurt you. I forgive my husband. I forgive my wife. Lord God, for betraying me. Lord, I forgive those who used me and dumped me. Yung ex ko, yung mga ex ko, yung mga friend ko daw, friend ko ko no. Lord, I forgive them in Jesus' name. Come on, right now. Right now, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't waste this moment. What won't say ito? God is here. Come on. Be released forgiveness. Lord, I forgive my father. Lord, I forgive my mother. Lord, I forgive my ex. Lord, I forgive my husband. I forgive my parents. I forgive my wife. I forgive my best friend. Come on, forgive those people who hurt you. Come on. Pray to the Lord. Father God, today, I say I forgive them now. I forgive my mother, my Lord, my boss, my business partner. God, pasailo ako, Lord. Nagtubot ko ko ginoo. Grabe ko na akong kalagot. But right now, I release them. I forgive them. Heal me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Set me free, Lord God. Right now, come on, just respond to the Lord. Respond to the Lord. And while we are in a time of prayer, if you're here today and you have not yet given your life to the Lord, you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, alam mo ang pinakailangan mo, hindi lang forgiveness ang tao, kundi forgiveness ni Lord. You are a sinner. Like we all are, but you need the forgiveness of God. You can receive the forgiveness of God. Would you please come to the Lord and tell the Lord, God, today I admit I'm a sinner. Today I humble myself and say I need you. I cannot save myself. Forgive me, Lord. Come on, tell the Lord today. If alam mo hindi mo pa nabigay ang buhay mo kay Lord, alam mo hindi ka nakapanapatawat ni Lord sa iyong mga kasalanan, di pa nabago ang buhay mo. Hindi ka pa naligtas sa kasalanan. Would you give your life to the Lord? Would you tell the Lord, God, I'm sorry for my sins. Jesus, I repent. I turn away. Iwanan ko na ang masamang buhay. Ang buhay para sarili ko na. I choose to surrender my life to you. Jesus, have your way. Jesus, be my leader. I trust in you. Not in religion. Not in good things I do. They cannot save me, but you can save me, Jesus. I trust you. I give my life to you. Come on, pray that to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, if you have a need or prayer request, financial need, maybe you're sick, you need a healing for your body, maybe you, you have a financial or, or a problem, say, work or business, would you please raise your hand? And we will ask the Lord of blessing, the Lord of goodness, to bless you today. Raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, Bless those who are coming before you now. Bless them financially, Lord. Bless them, God, with healing for their sicknesses. Lord, bless their families, Lord. Bless their work. Bless their business. Bless their studies, Lord. Yung mga full-time po sa pamilya, sa bahay, the retired people. Bless them, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless everyone, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, we trust in you. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are God and you take good care of us. We receive your blessing today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. He is good. He is good. Today just uh, we will be dismissed very in a very short while. If you're here for the first, second, or third time, we just want to acknowledge uh, your presence and pray a short blessing for you. Would you please wave your hand come first time, second time, or third time niyo po ngayon? Would you please, don't be ashamed, wave your hand, please. Ayan, thank you. Palakpakan po natin si Lord sa buhay nila. Honestly, honestly, from our hearts, thank you for coming. We are so happy that you came. We invite you to come again next week kasi po the Lord really has a plan for your life. This afternoon, if you are available, please come. God will bless you because you have given time for Him. Lord, bless our invites, our VIPs, grant the desires of their hearts. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Salama po. Now, everyone, raise your hands. We will not close. In the next 30 seconds, you can go. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly. And the Lord bless you with His peace. The Lord loves you. Believe it, receive it, enjoy it. Go with God. Go with His blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone would say, Amen and Amen.